going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the Plays TV client via AMD and Raptor. Um, very easy to use, does not take up much system resources at all. I believe I read it about 3%. Um, what you do, you go ahead and we'll get started. You hit the video where the Plays TV is, and that actually loads up the client right here. Shows all the highlighted videos I've done and so forth. But first, as far as the settings, click the little icon there. Here is the core of everything. My session video. What that pretty much does is records whatever game you decide to load up via Steam or just in general and records it from the very beginning from the logos until you actually exit out the game completely. Here you have the managing as far as the size and how much space you want it to take up and it shows the hours and minutes. Very easy and self-explanatory. Fun part, the video capture is what I use a lot more than anything. Uh, video capture, what that does basically is whenever you're in a game, for instance, you get an amazing headshot or a trick shot, whatever it may be, you're not actually recording at that time. No problem. With this app running in the background, Whenever something happens, you quickly hit the in-game hockey you've chosen, which mine is Control F3, and it actually records what has already happened. 10 seconds back, a minute, two minutes, it goes all the way up to 10 minutes. I typically have mine on two minutes because that's plenty of time and gives me time to edit and do whatever I need to do. As for the sake of the video, I'm going to set it to 10 seconds. I will show this in action and how it actually works. As far as the video quality presets, I keep mine at 720, 60 frames, 10 megabits. Honestly, I don't have the best internet because I am on Wi-Fi. 1080 is awesome, but 720 works just as good. And I did optimize the videos for upload and share, which helps out a good bit as far as file size, but does not degrade the quality much, if anything. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'm going to load up just a small game, run it in windowed mode. And how you know it's running is on the top right corner of the game, you actually see it turning on. Boom, save highlight. All right, so let's just do here. Oh my god, what was that? Oh, I want to hit control F3, saving the last 10 seconds of what have already happened. Exit out the game. After you exit out the game, this comes up. Boom, my videos. Shows the date and time it actually happened. Click the video. Boom, there it is. All right, so let's just do here. Oh my God, what was that? Oh, I wanna hit. As you see, it recorded the audio from my voice as well as everything else. Literally, it captures everything. Beautiful quality as well. Now, as far as, let's say you did it too long, if I only want to do this much, go down here and click create a clip. From here, you have the zoomed in timeline. You can go anywhere. Let's say I want to start here to start the video. You hit start clip here. And let's say that I want to end it like so, because I don't need all of that. And clip here, you hit save. Put in a tag. Hit save, and then it automatically starts uploading to your Place TV account. Um, if you don't want to do that and you want to upload it to YouTube, just cancel it. You can actually go into your let me go this into your hard drive where you actually save the folders. I saved mine to my videos. You can pull up the video. Let's see here, Adventure Capitalist creates its own folder. Now from here you have the raw clip and then you also have the edited clip. Edited clip, all right. So oh. let's just do, automatically gives you the raw copy and the edited copy. And from there you can upload to YouTube, no problem. From here I also use Windows Movie Maker or other editing software you may want to use like Sony Vegas. You just pull them, drag and drop and edit as you see fit. Very easy to use like I stated before. Other than that, that's pretty much the gist of the Place TV client. Very, very, very easy to use, like I stated before. Um, doesn't take up any of my resources hardly at all. I never notice a drop at all. 
Um, other than that, if you have any questions at all, go ahead and send a comment to this video and I'll be sure to help you out. Listen, thank you for watching this tutorial and don't forget to like. Thank you.